Imagine you're in your garage reaching for that old box in the corner, when suddenly, you spot it. A spider, with a distinctive hourglass marking on its abdomen. Your heart skips a beat. Is it a black widow? Or could it be its lesser-known cousin, the brown widow? Both are notorious, both venomous, but they're not as similar as you might think. In this video, we'll explore the world of these two arachnids, exploring the 10 key differences between black widows and brown widows. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one you're dealing with and how to stay safe. The black widow, scientifically known as Latrodectus mactans, is a member of the genus Latrodectus, which includes several other widow species. Its cousin, the brown widow, is Latrodectus geometricus. While the black widow has been notorious across North America, the brown widow is a bit more of a global traveler, with populations spreading across Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. The black widow thrives in the shadows of North America, particularly in warmer climates, while the brown widow has made itself at home in many urban environments across the world. One of the most noticeable differences between these two spiders is their appearance. The black widow is famous for its glossy, jet-black body and the vivid red hourglass marking on its abdomen. The brown widow, on the other hand, sports a more subdued color palette. Its body ranges from tan to dark brown, often with mottled patterns, and its hourglass marking is more of a yellow or orange hue. Size is another distinguishing factor. While both are relatively small, black widows tend to be slightly larger, with females reaching up to 1.5 inches in length, including their leg span. Brown widows are typically a bit smaller and more slender. If you're trying to identify a widow by its web, pay attention to the structure and location. Black widows are known for their chaotic, tangled webs, often found in dark, secluded areas like basements, crawl spaces, and wood piles. They prefer to stay out of sight, lurking in the shadows. Brown widows, however, are a bit less picky. Their webs are still messy, but you're more likely to find them in exposed locations outdoor furniture, garden tools, even under eaves and in mailboxes. If you find a spider web in a place you didn't expect, it might just belong to a brown widow. Another telltale sign is the egg sac. Black widows produce smooth, pearly white sacs that are almost spherical. In contrast, brown widow egg sacs are spiky and rough. These spiky sacs are a dead giveaway that you're dealing with a brown widow. Black widows can produce several egg sacs throughout their lifetime with each sac taking about two to four weeks to develop, containing between 200 to 900 eggs. In contrast, brown widows lay egg sacs more frequently, often producing multiple sacs within a short time, especially during warmer months. Each brown widow egg sac typically contains 120 to 150 eggs, but similar to black widows, not all of these eggs will result in viable offspring. While both species are prolific breeders, brown widows generally lay more egg sacs over a shorter period compared to black widows. Now, let's talk venom. This is where many people get concerned. The black widow's venom is infamous. It's about 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. But don't worry, a black widow bite is rarely fatal to humans thanks to modern medicine. The venom affects the nervous system, leading to symptoms like muscle pain, cramps, and in severe cases, difficulty breathing. Brown widow venom, while still venomous, is less potent. Its bites are generally less severe, often causing mild symptoms like localized pain and redness. Regardless, if you're bitten by either, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately, especially if symptoms worsen. Behaviorally, black widows and brown widows are quite different. Black widows have earned their fearsome reputation. They're more aggressive, especially when protecting their webs. They tend to stand their ground and are more likely to bite if threatened. Brown widows, on the other hand, are more reclusive. They're less likely to bite, often retreating to avoid confrontation. This difference in temperament is another reason why brown widow bites are less common and typically less severe. When it comes to habitat, black widows prefer dark, secluded areas. Think wood piles, garages, and sheds. They like to stay out of sight, making it easy for them to go unnoticed until disturbed. Brown widows, however, are less picky. They're more likely to be found in urban environments, even in broad daylight. They've adapted well to living near humans, often in places like garden sheds, playgrounds, and outdoor furniture. If you live in a city, you're more likely to encounter a brown widow than a black widow. The differences between these spiders are not just skin deep, they're rooted in their evolutionary history. The black widow has been around for millions of years, evolving to become the stealthy, venomous predator we know today. The brown widow, while also ancient, has spread more rapidly in recent decades, 
adapting to new environments as it goes. Interestingly, as brown widows spread, they seem to be pushing black widows out of some areas, possibly due to their more adaptable nature. When it comes to diet, both black widows and brown widows are carnivorous and primarily feed on insects. However, there are some differences in their prey preferences. Black widows are known for their powerful venom, which allows them to take down larger prey like beetles, grasshoppers, and even small vertebrates like lizards. Brown widows, on the other hand, tend to focus on smaller insects, such as flies, mosquitoes, and ants. Their slightly less potent venom suits their preference for smaller, more easily subdued prey. Despite these differences, both spiders play crucial roles in controlling pest populations around human habitats. Both black widows and brown widows play crucial roles in our ecosystem. They're highly effective at controlling insect populations. By doing so, they help keep our environment in balance. So while it's natural to be cautious around these spiders, it's important to remember that they're not out to get us. They're just doing their part to keep nature in check. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.